This video explains how to fix your HP printer when you get the error message, Alignment Failed, on your printer's control panel. Often, the condition of the paper you're using can cause the alignment to fail. Remove the paper from the input tray. If a second paper tray is installed, remove all the paper from there as well. Remove any damaged paper you find. Make sure there are at least 10 sheets of plain white paper, but no more than 25 sheets of paper in the paper stack. The printer can hold more sheets of paper, but this number of pages is best for testing. Make sure that you are using unused, plain white paper. Make sure all the paper is the same size and type, then tap it on a flat surface to get the edges perfectly aligned. Finally, load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try aligning the printer. On the printer control panel, touch the Setup button, which looks like a wrench. Touch the down arrow, and then touch Tools. Touch Align Printer from the menu to start the alignment process. The alignment pages will print out. If your pages look like the ones shown, then they are printed correctly. All colors shown are present and have solid, sharp lines without fading or streaking. If you receive an alignment successful message on the printer's control panel and your alignment pages look like the ones shown, the issue is resolved. If you receive an alignment failed error message, go on to the next step. If you see streaked or missing colors on the alignment pages, you need to clean the print heads. On the printer control panel, Touch the Setup button. Touch the down arrow and then touch Tools. Touch Clean Print Heads to start the cleaning process. Once the cleaning process is complete, a test page will print. If the test page does not look like the one shown, an intermediate cleaning is required. Touch the Yes button on the control panel to perform a second level cleaning of the print heads. Once again, examine the printout to determine if a third level cleaning is required by comparing it to the one shown. Once the color bars appear to be solid, attempt to print an alignment page once more. On the printer control panel, touch the Setup button. Touch the down arrow and then touch Tools. Touch Align Printer from the menu to start the alignment process. If you receive an alignment successful message on the printer's control panel, the issue is resolved. If you receive an alignment failed error message, go on to the next step. To determine if we need to calibrate the line feed on the printer, we will print out and evaluate a print quality diagnostic page. On the printer control panel, touch the Setup button. Touch Print Report from the menu. Touch the down arrow until you reach the bottom of the list, and then touch Print Quality Page. The print quality diagnostic page will print. Examine Test Pattern 3 at the bottom of the quality page. If you see solid gray boxes with no lines or gaps, move on to the next step. However, if you see dark lines or white gaps where the arrows on the page are pointing, you need to run the Calibrate Line Feed utility. On the printer control panel, touch the Setup button. Touch the down arrow and then touch Tools. Touch the down arrow and then touch Calibrate Line Feed to start the calibration process. Once the calibration is done, Let's attempt another alignment. On the printer control panel, touch the Setup button. Touch the down arrow and then touch Tools. Touch Align Printer from the menu to start the alignment process. If you receive an alignment successful message on the printer's control panel, the issue is resolved. If you receive an alignment failed error message, go on to the next step. If, after repeated cleanings, the print quality diagnostic page shows white lines across the color blocks in test pattern 2 in the middle of the page, but no white lines are visible in the gray blocks in test pattern 3, one or both of the print heads will have to be replaced. To identify which print head needs to be replaced, we must examine the color blocks labeled test pattern 2 on the print quality diagnostic page. If the black, red, or green blocks have lines through any of them, you will need to replace the black-yellow print head. If the cyan or magenta blocks have lines through either of them, you will need to replace the cyan-magenta print head. Now we can replace the print head or print heads. Open the top cover to access the print heads. 
To access the print heads, you must press and hold the star button on the printer control panel until the carriage moves all the way to the left. Be careful not to proceed until the carriage is on the left side of the printer. If the carriage does not move to the left automatically, turn the printer off and back on, and then try holding down the star button again. The print head can be damaged if the carriage is not all the way to the left for installation. Then, lift the blue print head latch. On the print head that needs to be replaced, lift the blue handle. Use the handle to pull the print head straight up and remove it from the printer. While the replacement print head is still in its package, shake it six times. Shaking the print head helps prevent print quality problems later. Remove the new print head from its packaging. Then, remove the orange protective caps. Be careful not to shake the print heads after the caps have been removed. Insert the print head into its color coded slot. Lower the print head latch and snap it into place. Then, close the top cover of the printer. After replacing the print head, the printer will calibrate and then print out alignment sheets. If you receive an Alignment Successful message on the printer's control panel, the issue is resolved. If you receive an Alignment Failed Error message, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.